using Python to calculate radial angle in clockwise, counterclockwise directions, given pixel coordinates, and then vice versa. For a context I won't get into, I need two functions that are essentially reciprocals of each other. Angle underscore 2 should return the number of degrees a clock hand would have to turn to travel from 0 degrees to the line connecting P1 to P2, i.e. P1 is the center of rotation, and where both P1 and P2 are pixel coordinates. Point underscore POS should return the pixel coordinates of where a clock hand of length amplitude would be had it turned angle. For both, the positive x-axis equals 0 degrees equals 3 o'clock, and the argument rotation should shift that axis before the calculation begins in either the clockwise or counterclockwise direction, then said calculation should move in the same direction with this adjusted reference. My progress on each is included below, the failure is when clockwise equals false, it returns the correct answer for the clockwise condition, when clockwise equals true, angle underscore between, returns the right answer with a rounding error, and point underscore POS, gives me the wrong answer entirely. I've also attached a visual explanation I mocked up in Illustrator as an apology to the internet for being unable to solve this and in case what I'm seeking isn't clear. Edit, cleaned up a line that unnecessarily complicated as per one answer below. Edit number 2, upon request, here's some failed output. Angle underscore 2, is flipping clockwise and counterclockwise, when I've tried to fix it, I end up getting wrong answers altogether, and in the clockwise direction, rotating and calculating in different directions. Point underscore POS, is just wrong in the counterclockwise direction. Re, angle underscore 2, should return the number of degrees a clock hand would have to turn to travel from P1 to P2. In your code, you subtract the coordinates of point P1 from P2 before you calculate the angle using atin 2. Essentially, you're considering P1 to be the center of your clock, so it doesn't make any sense to talk about traveling from P1 to P2 by a rotation. You'll need to specify three points, the center around which you do the rotations, point 1, and point 2. If the coordinates are xc, yc, x1, y1, x2, y2, then you'd need to do something like this. Update with your new specification, return the number of degrees a clock hand would have to turn to travel from 0 degrees to the line connecting p1 to p2. This will return the clockwise angle, in pixel coordinates, in the range, pi to plus pi, minus 180 to plus 180 degrees. In your example, angle underscore 2, 100,125, 25, want 225, but get 135, the atin 2 will result in minus 135 degrees, which means plus 135 degrees counterclockwise. That is the answer that you would want, modulo 360 degrees, since you have not specified whether the clock hand should be turning CW or CCW, you only specify whether the starting position is CW or CCW relative to the 3 o'clock position. However, depending on the value of clockwise, which defaults to false, you do something complicated. If you want to ensure that the clock hand turns CW, then you should add 360 degrees to the result angle if it is negative, not revert the angle. Note, I deleted the old answer, the first two comments refer to the old answer. This Angle equals 360, angle if angle is greater than 0 else minus 1 asterisk angle, rotation. I don't know what you were trying to achieve there, but that indeed does not do what you want. Just having angle reflects the angle, changes the angle direction, from anticlockwise to clockwise, noting that you're in the counterclockwise branch of the condition. Then you add 360, and that messes everything up. The else branch just multiplies the angle by minus 1, reversing it again. The clockwise branch is where you needed to reverse the angle, and add 360 to ensure the angle is positive. Here is a simple version of your function fixed without the extra rotation parameter.
your other function suffers from exactly the same problem in these lines. Should be. You can simplify your code quite a bit by using a couple of simple rules. Simple code is less likely to have bugs. First, converting between clockwise and counterclockwise just means inverting the sign, angle is equal to angle. Second, to restrict an angle to the range, 0, 360, you simply use angle percent 360. This works no matter if the angle started out negative or positive, integer or floating point. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.